In this last example, we're going to look at integrating just a single power of tangent. So just to remind ourselves how we handle just single powers of secant or single powers of tangent. If we have just a single power of um, secant where that power is odd, we pull off the secant squared x um, for dv in integration by parts like we saw in one of our earlier examples. If on the other hand you have secant by itself but the power is even, you're going to pull off secant squared x for du in a u substitution and write the remaining um, secants that exist in terms of tangents so you can let u be equal to tangent. Okay, so what about just a single power of tangent? Well, for a single power of tangent, whether it's um, even or odd, we're going to pull off a um, tangent squared and write it in terms of secants using the Pythagorean identity. So let's see how that goes in this um, particular example. Okay, so we said we want to take tangent to the fifth and rewrite it as tangent cubed x tangent squared x dx. And then I'm going to rewrite tangent squared in terms of secants. Remember that 1 plus tangent squared x is equal to secant squared x. So I can say that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So I have tan oops, cubed x times secant squared x minus 1 dx. And then I can distribute that through. So I have tan cubed x secant squared x um, dx minus an integral of tangent cubed x dx. Okay, so notice that I've made one of these integrals a little bit simpler. This first one has a secant squared already nicely pulled off for me. And notice that if I let u be tangent, then du will be secant squared. So I can use um, u substitution on this part. And now this tangent cubed, well, that's another just power of tangent. So I'm going to repeat this technique of pulling off tan squared and replacing the tan squared part with um, secant squared minus 1. So let's see what we have here. So I've got this integral of tangent cubed x secant squared x dx minus tan x times tan squared x dx. Okay, so we have our tan cubed x secant squared x dx minus tan x here times secant squared x minus 1. Okay, so let's simplify that a little bit. So we have this integral of tan cubed x secant squared x. Well, I'm just continuing to write that down. We haven't um, integrated that yet. Distribute this tan x through. So I have minus this integral of tan x secant squared x dx. And then notice that if I um, distributed the tan x to the minus 1, that would be minus tan x. But I've got this minus on the outside. So I'll have plus an integral of tan x dx. Okay. So now what we have is these two integrals here with the secant squared x pulled off nicely for us. So we can use u sub on each of those. And we have our rule for the integral of tangent. So notice that I started initially with an integral of tangent to the fifth using this technique where I replaced, uh, pulled off a tangent squared it with the secant squared minus 1 and multiplied things through. That reduced the power of tangent that I had to deal with to tan cubed. Use that again. It reduced the power of tangent um, that I had to just a single power. Okay, so the higher power of tangent that you have to start with, uh, the more times you have to, um, you know, go through and repeat this procedure. But we did end up with two very nice integrals and one where we're just going to use the antiderivative rule. So notice we can let u be equal to tan x. So our du is secant squared x dx. And then we'll have 
this nice integral of u cubed du um, minus an integral of u du. Plus, remember, um, this was one of the new antiderivative rules that we learned, or I should say one of the antiderivative rules we reminded ourselves about. The integral of tangent x is log of the absolute value of secant x. Whoops, I'm not going to add a plus c quite yet because I haven't done all my antiderivatives. So this is going to be u to the fourth over 4. We'll have minus u squared over 2 plus my log absolute value of secant x, and now I'm going to go ahead and add that plus c. And then I just need to replace my u um, with tangent x's. So we see we get for our final answer, tan to the fifth x is equal to tan to the fourth x over 4 minus tan squared x over 2 plus log of the absolute value of secant x plus c. Okay. So you'll see a lot of practice with these problems um, in your homework, um, and you'll get a chance to practice these further in class as well. But please let me know if you have any questions on these techniques.